My name is Philip Debig. I'm Boatman's Bank Shares Professor of Banking and Finance at Washington University in St. Louis. And uh, today I'm uh, stressed out because uh, I learned this morning that uh, Ben Bernanke, Doug Diamond, and I uh, were awarded the Nobel Prize in Economics. And he put them on like this, and he had a suit, and he looked very, very serious. Mm -hmm. And he said, but not me. Right. So the paper was uh, published when I was 28, and I um, don't have any other papers that are that, that are nearly as as well known, and I won't have another paper. It's just vanishingly small probability that I would have another paper that's that's of this level of importance. So if you think about it. Uh, my career has been downhill since 83. <laughs> so, so I, I, feel, I feel like a child star. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's, it's good. I, I mean, I, I have no regrets and I don't feel bitter or unhappy. I mean, I'm just lucky to get one paper that gets this much attention. And I've gotten to continue to do research uh, that I love to do. And and, uh, you know, uh, live pretty comfortably, uh, not, not making money like some of my buddies on Wall Street do, but, but uh, it's okay. There'd be some people who would have a look with their glasses. I guess a lot of it was probably earlier in the 50s. I'd see old television. Uh, my alarm woke me up this morning, and uh, I had the phone on Do Not Deser Disturb for overnight. And uh, I had uh, hundreds of messages. And I knew that this was the time for Nobel announcements. So I went to the Nobel Prize website, and there was my name. And so that's, that's how I found out. Uh, uh, I guess a lot of people are awakened in the middle of the night. And I guess I'm lucky I'm out of town. And, and uh, people didn't know where to find me to wake me up in the middle of the night. The whole world is cool. There's so much cool stuff in the world. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I. So it wasn't a complete surprise because I hear people speculating about this before. But, uh, but I didn't, you know, I didn't really think it was going to happen. Uh, or else I might have been up at 4, 5.45 this morning, uh, uh, whenever it was, uh, listening to the uh, internet. Um, so, um, anyway, I'm happy. I'm, I'm a little, um, I'm a little sad that my advisor can't see this. He passed a few years away ago, uh, away a few years ago. He should have had a Nobel Prize, and he would have loved that, and he also would have loved seeing his student give, get the Nobel Prize. <laughs> So our work is on bank runs. People used to talk about banking panics. It sounded like a psychological phenomenon where uh, people all of a sudden had this mass hysteria and they go take their money out of the bank. We uh, model bank runs as a rational phenomenon. If uh, you know that everybody else is going to take your money out, their money out of the bank, even though the bank is basically sound, uh, we know that, that they're going to liquidate uh, their assets at a loss, and uh, you'd better take your money out too because there won't be any left later. Lively and very uh -huh. smart. Uh -huh. no, uh, the reason it's useful to have a contract that looks like this is that um, people like liquidity. So you may want to buy a house or, or a fancy new car or pay some medical expenses for a friend or family member. And you'd like to have access to your money uh, in the short run, but you don't know that for sure. Having that, that ability to take your money out when you need it is valuable to people. And, uh, but it also tends to make banks intrinsically unstable. That stability can be uh, created, however, if you have deposit insurance. Or, and we talk about some other related policy measures. I went to Indiana University. I, 
I was hoping to major in math and music. Uh -huh. But it turns out the music school is too good. They wouldn't allow you to do a double major. Probably the most useful thing about the research is that it gives policymakers a framework for thinking about what's going on. If you look at several things during the financial crisis in 2008, they look just like the bank runs in our model. And there were actual bank runs. There are also uh, runs on money market funds, uh, runs on what's called the repo market, repurchase agreement market, and also runs on uh, uh, bank commercial paper. And understanding these runs and what causes them and what you can do to uh, uh, mitigate them is really useful.